All right, guys, listen. We all know this. We've known this since Bronny James got drafted second round, 55th pick by the Lakers. And as you can see, him playing against these other teams, he's not averaging pretty good stat lines. Heck, I don't think he even scored above double digits in points. Not one time yet. That I believe in. Now, keep in mind, I actually haven't watched the games yet. I've, just, I've seen the stat lines, you know, after the games, the boss scores and stuff like that. In the media, ESPN, Undisputed, any other persons in the media, commentator right now, they just do not want to say nothing wrong or bad about this pl- about this guy. I can't wait until Bronny gets into the league, right? So he gets into the league and he's starting. I hope he starts more, maybe like over 30 games this year, hopefully. A good sample size. Now, he start. Now, if he starts and still has the same averages, which is around what, four to six points, maybe a couple assists, throwing a couple rebounds, things like that, then. There would be no excuses. I mean, there's still excuses now, but I'm just saying, like, how people were saying, oh, the uh, the Summer League doesn't matter, da 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 Well, if, if Bronny James, let's say if Bronny James scored, like, 30 points, something like that, I'm pretty sure they would have said the Summer League matter then. But obviously, since he's not doing well, they want to just cover that up, right? <laughs> but back to my point, if he's starting right, and he averages barely anything. Like I said, there'd be no excuses. Then everybody can see that he's not good. The media will have a hard time trying to cover that up. Because if he's starting, right? And he's playing and still averaging the same uh, Summer League stats. There'd be no covering that up. Everybody would see it. Everybody can see it now, right? And people that's like watching the game, they can obviously see it now. But I mean... <laughs> Like, it's just so, it just, ooh, I, I just can't wait. That's why That's why I'm excited for the, the league to start, because it's just going to be so fucking funny. It, it really is. I don't think Brian is going to last. He might, I mean, he might last for four years, considering they, they guaranteed his contract. No other 55 pick. In the NBA, let's let's say in the last six years, has ever gotten a guaranteed contract right out the get right out the bat like that. Maybe besides one, but not in the like in the millions in terms of that. No other fifty fifth pick gets seven million dollars. No way, no fucking hell. That's only because he is LeBron James' son. That's nepotism at its finest. Everybody see it. The real, like the real fans that are just like watching the game with their eyes, like real fans that don't have to sugarcoat it, don't have to lie, can actually see what it is and actually can tell the truth. We see it. Regular fans, we see it. We we know we all know he's garbage. We all know he's a bum. But the but other people don't just don't want to admit it. We see, it. just just wait, just 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 wait, wait until NBA starts. Just just wait, just just hold on, just wait, wait until it gets a couple games in, shows the same stats, and time will tell, right? No, I'm not much of a Lakers fan. I used to be a Kobe's fan, you know, back in the day when Kobe was playing, but I'm not much of a, much of a Lakers fan. Um, this offseason is going to be pretty darn weird, if I say so myself. A lot of the offseason stuff and pickups. We'll go see how, you know, teams, you know, work out and stuff. But the Lakers, man. I mean, they did get a good pick with... Uh, with uh, connect, that's a pretty decent pick. He's turned out to be decent. 
So a little bit more uh, development for him, a little bit more training. I, I'm pretty sure he'd be a good player, good role player. So we'll see how that works. But Mr. Brawny, I don't know, man. <laughs> I really, and, it, and also, hold on. They also said they want him to be like a three and D guy. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he has not made a three point shot yet. Is something wrong with that? Like, he hasn't made a three-point shot. So how can he be a 3 and D person and he has not made a three-point shot? And I don't know what's his defensive rating or if he's even, like, defending that much. He, he probably getting blown by. No, I don't know. <laughs> like, he's probably getting blown by half the time. That could be the real thing. But don't say, oh, they want him to be a 3 and D guy if he's not even making threes. That, that just makes no sense. Like, work on your defense. Oh, better yet, just work on your offense. Definitely need to work on your offense because with all the money and the resources that Bronny has afforded, it's pretty astounding to... Uh, know or to realize why this is happening I, I don't know I don't know I mean with the money the resources I don't know why he wanted to play basketball he could have had done anything he wanted use the resources to build a business be a business owner I mean we know that he streams so maybe that's a his uh his outlook he want to do if basketball doesn't work out, it's not going to work out. Foreshadowing. Um, so you can fall back to streaming on Twitch or whatever what he, whatever he streams on. And obviously he's famous enough, so he can probably, you know, just make money. Obviously make money from that. And, you know, just make a fan base out of that. So he can always fall back to that. <laughs> but... uh it just, it just so, it just so, just so weird. Like we, we all, like we all see this. It just so retarded. Why the media? I mean, we know why the media is doing it because it's LeBron James' son. They want to hide him, all this good stuff. But uh, it just, it's just stupid. Real people like you and me that watch the game or watch the stat lines and say like, he's not, he's not good. And. I, like before, before he like before he played. <coughs> excuse me, before he played, I felt like that before like the summer league and stuff like that when he got drafted. I was thinking maybe he could be like Drew Holiday, just you know good at defense, and then you know do decently on offense, make a few shots, pass stuff like that. I thought he could be like a, a Drew Holiday. But, uh, man, me, me comparing him to Drew Holiday, that's making, that's making uh, Drew Holiday's name go back. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to make that comparison. I actually don't think that's a good, good, uh, good comparison anymore. So, so I, I can't go with that. I don't know like what other player is as bad. Now, I'm not saying like overall pick-wise. I'm just saying generally-wise. As bad as him, that has this, like either this much hype or like close to this much hype. No, I'm not. I don't know any know any uh, players off the bat at the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure you can think of some. <laughs> if I just do like a couple Google searches, but I don't know. This is just so wild. And what? How many summer league games we have left? It's July, so. The NBA season, preseason is going to come up soon. So I know we got a few more Summer League games left. Dude, that's... I, I don't know. I, I Like, to be honest, I really don't know. It's just so dumb. But uh, I definitely just want to come in here. And y'all already see all the YouTube videos, the Instagram stuff of uh, Bronny just not being good. I guess he really doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> What, did, what, uh, what his dad said, oh, he doesn't give a fuck. Apparently not, because he doesn't give a fuck about the basketball, like his offensive, defensive game at all. 
that's a parent. Like, that's obviously a parent. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Like I said, I'm, I'm ready for the NBA season. It's going to be stupid wild. And I'm going to have some popcorn and watching the Lakers show just be in a, a, a total downpour. <laughs> it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny for all the wrong reasons. That's gonna, what. That's why it's going to be so, fun, so, so fucking funny. But, uh, yeah, are you a basketball fan? I mean, I am, occasionally. But are you a basketball fan? Do you even like the Lakers? And what do you think about this new offseason? And what do you think about Bronny? I don't know, like, you, like I, you can't tell me that my arguments aren't valid. If you watch the game, you see the box scores. Come on now. You, come on. <laughs> you, can't, you can't tell me they aren't valid. <laughs> but, uh, I mean... You can argue in the comments if you like to try, but uh, yeah, this is my <laughs> this is my video. Oh man, hope you enjoy it, and uh, ho hopefully enjoy the video. It's prime excellence. Peace.